Hey everybody, it's Haley with Halo of the Flare. Today, I, a Platinum Delta Medallion member, is giving American First Class a try. Let's see what it's like. And we will also be doing a head-to-head -head comparison with a similar Delta flight. So this flight on American is going from Buffalo to Dallas-Fort Worth. And then on Tuesday, we will be flying Seattle to LAX in first class on Delta. So head-to-head -head comparison, let's see how it goes. If you are new here, don't forget to like and subscribe to this video and check out the other flights and travel vlogs on my channel. And I hope you guys get some great tips out of those. Although I am a Platinum Medallion member, I'm going to keep this as level and fair as possible. We are gonna be grading on five different categories. We're gonna be grading on the seat, food, customer service, in-flight entertainment, as well as cost and value. Before we hop into flying, I think it's important to talk about what is included. Now, virtually these two are very comparable. They include two free check bags, priority check-in and boarding, as well as expedited bag service. That's always a little laughable, but meal on board depending on distance that's why it's asterisk here and then delta one thing that is a little different is a lot of their planes as long as you are a sky miles member you will get free wi-fi on that is something they are continuing to expand i will say american airlines was very very efficient at boarding one of the most efficient processes i've seen even if their one gay agent was pretty rude to my kid but that's a story for another day so boarding the plane I will tell you right off the bat, these seats were wonderful, especially if you are a bigger person, a plus size person, these seats were wonderful. But one thing to take note is there were definitely no screens. There was great storage here in the armrest, which I really appreciated, especially when I have my iPad out, my vlogging equipment, um, having the charging blocks in here was really great. I will say we did not get a pre-departure beverage on this flight. A little sad it's not the end of the world but just something to take note now it was time for takeoff and going back to that pre departure beverage comment there is a rumor that these can be hit or miss on american because their flight attendants actually do not get paid until the door closes it's a rumor take with it what you want but that is just what i heard let's talk about the in-flight entertainment i was texting with one of my friends who is an aa loyalist their highest tier you name it about the tv situation and apparently that is not very common to have tvs on board of most american flights they have definitely gone with the mindset of beefing up their digital library this way versus having the tvs on flight they figure most people bring a laptop an ipad a tablet your phone or whatnot which i can see that seems like a very modern approach the library is definitely full stacked lots of newer movies older movies there's a lot of variety i do like the connection they have with apple tv and apple music they also have a great program called sensory bear which is great for children and individuals with sensory issues Overall, very impressed with what I saw here. Let me know what you think about these down below. Let's talk about food. Our flight actually had a huge screw up. We were an evening flight. We were supposed to have dinner and they didn't send any. Out of the five items we were supposed to choose from, we only had an option between a vegetarian and a chicken option. They did serve fresh nuts here in the beginning like you saw. I will say the glassware is very supreme, very durable, great feel to it. I was overall really impressed with that. The food was was good i will say what we did get i ordered the chicken dish um it came with a shrimp salad that had like a curry seasoning on it and this little lemon cake olivia really enjoyed the food on board jeff and i both agreed that it was very good it was just a little disappointing that we didn't get the more gourmet style dinner options that we were offered originally Jeff is supposed to get a short rib as well as Olivia with macaroni and cheese. I had ordered this roasted chicken dish. A little disappointed there, but again, I guess mistakes happen. There's just a lot of those little hiccups in this flight. Overall, the flight was good. The flight attendants were kind. They kept harping that we needed to call customer service about the meal situation. Overall, they were kind, but I will say service was also a bit slow. I know it technically doesn't count because I'm comparing the same planes, but I did want to show the snack variety and the fact that we did at least get a pre-departure water on our second American flight and also what the back of the first class seat looked like just to be a little bit more fair, I guess, towards American for that because there were some hiccups like I mentioned. But let's head over to our Delta flight for comparison. 
Hey guys, we are back bright and early here at SeaTac. We're going to be comparing it now at Delta going to LAX. This is a two hour, 40 minute flight. We will be getting breakfast. Of course, we were going to be comparing these at the end of the video. We're going to be grading them on different things like seat comfortability and food, but we need to get the in-person first-hand experience first. So I'm very excited for this comparison because both of these ended up being a 737-800 model. Boarding process was very simple for Delta. It did take a little longer to board than the American flight. This is what the first class cabin looks like. These are the seats. This is definitely an older model plane. But alas, it's still first class. We're still good with it. You do get headphones. This is an older display. I'm going to show you what both of these displays look like momentarily. Here's what the console area looks like. There is no storage in the middle area. Controls for the TVs are here. One thing I did like as a plus size person is the swivel on these trays. As you can see, there's actually a swivel ball. So these could easily come down. And especially for people that have, might have accessibility issues, this was a really great feature to have on this plane. Well, it's time for Sleepyhead and I here to take off. So let's get up in the air. Before we got up in the air, I did get my pre-departure beverage. I've never had these really missed on a Delta flight. This is what the legroom area looks like. There is a little pop-out tray. It is smaller than the one that was on the American seat, but it's nice to have the little extra drink space. Okay, let's talk about this ancient display. I will say, since this is an older plane, it was very hard to get a good responsive touch and it was a bit laggy. It did have all of the new features like the movies and whatnot, um, but as you can see, like touching this sometimes is really, really difficult. And also with it being a smaller display, it was harder to see all of the offerings. You really had to click through for them. Now I did speed this up a bit, obviously, but I think you get the gist. I am also going to show you what you can see on the phone, which if you have a display like this on an older plane, you might want to do the phone instead because the phone was a lot more responsive and still had all of the same features. So here we are on the phone display. As you can see, I have the complimentary internet that was available on this flight just by logging in with my Sky Miles membership. They do have the Paramount Plus little offering here. As you can see, there's shopping, there's movies, almost all the things, plus some additional offers within the app that you can do on the flight as well. And don't forget to sign up for those accelerators with Lyft and Starbucks. All right, let's talk breakfast. Olivia got the brioche French toast with the mango compote. Neil say there was nothing left for this child. She thoroughly enjoyed this breakfast. I got the cherry compote chia seed pudding. This is one of my all-time favorites from Delta. I think they've done a really great job with their meals. It's so, so good. Jeff got the breakfast pizza. I didn't get to show that, but he said it was really good. And then this flight attendant was probably one of the best I've ever had in my life. She came around on this two hour and 40 minute flight four different times with snacks, asking for drink refills. She's probably the best flight attendant I've ever had. All right, it is time to hand out some awards. So uh, drum roll, please. At the end of the day here in the US, there's honestly not a whole lot of degree of difference between the three major carriers, American, United, and Delta. So you will see that overall, there's definitely some tip for tat exchange here. Food and drink, I think both did a really great job, even though American did screw up our meal situation. The food that we did get was good. Delta has great food. I've had it many times. For entertainment, I think they were about the same, but I did give Delta the slight edge because of having more in screens, you know, older individuals, not everybody has access to the same tools. So I did give Delta the advantage there. Pricing, American Airlines hands down has great pricing. We paid for this ticket in miles and it was 26,000 miles one way across the country for a first class ticket. That is a great price. I will never find anything like that on Delta for first class. Delta is known for having high mileage redemption. It's not the greatest changeover. So American definitely wins on the pricing here. Customer service, definitely Delta. Delta always has really shined when it comes to the soft service part of their product. And that was very evident. Not that particularly American had a terrible customer service minus that one gay agent, but it just was not that hospitable above and beyond kind of feeling. And the service was very slow in flight. 
This could be that debate about contracts and pay that I referenced earlier, but definitely giving Delta the advantage there. And then of course for seating, had to give this to American because the seating was absolutely incredible. The storage was smart, the seat was comfortable. I felt like it was a little bigger. So hands down, American Airlines for the win. I hope you guys liked this video. Please subscribe, leave a comment down below, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.